The truth about plyometrics, are they really necessary for explosive speed? Are you wondering if jumping on boxes is actually helping your sprinting performance? Well, it's time to find out if plyometrics are worth the leap. These world-class athletes used plyometrics as part of their training regimen to improve their power, speed and jumping ability. Michael Jordan, considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time, credited plyometrics for his incredible jumping ability. Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, used plyometric exercises as part of his training to improve his speed. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best soccer players of all time, incorporates plyometric exercises into his training to improve his jumping ability and explosiveness. LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, uses plyos to be able to jump high and move fast. It's worth noting that these famous athletes have or had a complex training regimen and plyometrics is one of the many tools they use to improve their performance. Plyometrics are exercises that involve explosive, powerful movements like jumps and hops, designed to increase muscle power and explosiveness. These exercises involve an eccentric muscle contraction quickly followed by a concentric muscle contraction, replicating sport-specific movements to improve tendons elasticity and stretch reflex over time. Studies have shown that plyometric training can lead to increased power output and improved muscle activation, which can translate to improved sprinting performance. However, it's important to note that plyometrics alone may not be sufficient for all athletes, particularly for those who lack technical coordination and have weak strength levels. A good overall training program should include a variety of exercises, such as strength and resistance training, that can also improve explosive power. When performing plyometrics, it's important to maintain proper form and to start with lower impact exercises before progressing to more advanced moves. Also, it's crucial to ensure proper rest and recovery to avoid overuse injuries. It is important to understand that plyometrics can be targeted to mainly train CNS and muscle contraction speed by performing exercises with low volume using maximum speed and power or to improve tendons elasticity over longer periods of time using high volume, low intensity plyometric exercises. Plyometrics can also come with potential risks. Overuse or improper form can lead to injuries such as strains or sprains. It's important to have a proper warm-up before starting plyometric exercises and to start with lower impact exercises and progress gradually. It's not necessary to do plyometrics every day, it's best to incorporate them into a well-rounded training program. And it's also important to listen to your body and if you are feeling pain or discomfort, stop and seek professional advice. So, are plyometrics necessary for explosive speed? The answer is not a simple yes or no. Plyometrics can be an effective tool for improving explosive speed and bounciness, but it's important to assess your individual needs and to use proper form and techniques to avoid injury. A well-rounded training program that includes a variety of exercises such as strength and resistance training, proper rest and recovery, and good nutrition and sleep, is essential for achieving explosive speed.